This is an ultrasound clip demonstrating a normal apical four-chamber view. Notice that the probe marker is on the right side of the screen here, which is normal traditional cardiology orientation. To obtain this view, the patient should be placed in the left lateral decubitus position with their left arm extended up by their head. Next, the probe should be placed at the point of maximal impulse, usually just below the nipple of males or at the inframammary fold in females. The probe marker is pointed towards the patient's left axilla, and the tail of the probe is dropped down towards the patient slowly until all four chambers come into view. In this image, we can appreciate the following. On this side, we see our left atrium, mitral valve opening and closing, our left ventricle. We can see right atrium here, tricuspid valve, and right ventricle. Also notice our circular structure here, which is our descending aorta. A satisfactory apical four-chamber view will have the following components as seen here. A septum that's running straight up and down in the middle of the screen, as well as the presence of both mitral valve and tricuspid valve that are clearly seen. You should also be able to see the RV wall and the LV free walls clearly. In this image, the right ventricle free wall is slightly obscured. The apical four-chamber view is an excellent longitudinal section of the heart that allows comparisons of the ventricular size as well as chamber contractility and presence of pericardial effusion.